All right, folks, we're gonna take a little ride here through one of the Texas Corners neighborhoods. And uh, gonna take a little ride down here past Boyne, Sutton's Bay, and Petoskey. Wow. I mentioned before about how I haven't been out here in at least 20 years. These were woods. These were all woods. Uh, this has all been developed since then. Here's the place that we looked at in a prior video that quite the uh, Halloweenage going on. Okay, we're going to. Uh, idea what we're gonna find up here boy nice homes they it seems to be a whole nother uh, a whole nother um, phase of where we were just at these homes are I'm gonna use the term 50% more expensive I think we're getting into the uh, the sevens out here going to say all of the sixes and into the sevens. Man, look at the homes. Street after street. School district out here is Matawan. Matawan School District. And they have a, a dandy school district. Back when I was in high school, uh, Matawan was a class D school just like we were they're not anymore I think you can maybe see why maybe right up here are the uh, our vineyards when you uh, go to Matawan if you had ever been there, say, 30, 35 years ago or so, you'd say, wow, there's a little grocery store and there's a, uh, there's a liquor store and a couple of shops downtown there. There's a, what we'll just call a normal size old school high school and school system. Um, uh, there's a big truck stop on the other side, I-94 there. I think they had a bank, all right? Well... <laughs> What would Popeye say if he's seen it today? Hey, blow me down! Yeah, blow me down is right. You should see what Matawan looks like today. Okay, and of course, we see here where um, just some of the residents live. Um, this is just one of the subdivisions. You get closer over to Matawan, and they stack them up like this. I'd get lost. I'm lost right now. I know that I can get out of here. Okay. You can see right here where this ends at uh, this little side street ends at those trees. Nothing but a field on the other side. That'll get developed. Another 10 years, that street will go through, and they probably will be larger places than these built along up in there. Along up in there. Look in the backyard there. That's nice. Okay. Anyways, I'll be right back. Yes, very nice. Very nice. Okay. This is also brand new. To me, looks a little bit lived in, like it's made been here 15 years or so. Pretty cool back here in the woods. Hmm. I 
I see some pretty exclusive homes back here. Have, they have nice walking trails. Pretty nice looking places. You get lost back here. A lot of streets. Again, this is all Matawan. Ja, wohl. Be Gates. Guten Morgen. Prost. Oktoberfest. This house has frost on the roof. The roof and the roof next to it. Frost on the pumpkin. First sign of it this year. You've seen it right here. Frost on the Michigan pumpkin. Yes, sir. Let's go up this way. It looks like a another phase. Oh, yeah, this is a brand new phase. The road is just now getting this kind of a crack seal on it or something. Look at this here. They're doing the yards. See, this is a uh, circle drive. Well, circle them wagons. And let's break out the fiddle. Have us a little hoedown. It's been a long day on the trail. All right. Oh, look at this goes like a high road up around through there comes back down through here like a low road right into the Sun sorry about that more professional youtubers they're probably laughing <laughs> look at that guy what a dork well sometimes you have to work with what you have dork or not I'd rather use the term semi-doofus. <laughs> oh boy. Of course, if there's uh, one doofus, is that a doofy? If there's more than one of that doofuses, zzzz, I wonder if there's any doofy that live around here. Oh, this one's sold. Look at that. Right there. Must have a homeless problem out here. You don't see those out here. Except on construction sites. I didn't mean to refer to homeless as those. I wasn't. I was referring to the Portageon. Homeless are people. Just like you and moi. All right. I'm going to try to get out of here. I don't know how. It's fun getting lost. Maybe I can go and knock on one of these folks' door. Excuse me, sir, but might you have a quarter? I don't think they'd be interested. You have a flat tire out here. Ja, wohl. Guten Tag. Yeah, you have a flat tire out here. I think you might want to fix it yourself. You might have somebody come out and offer to call a wrecker for you. But people that live out in communities like this tend to stay to themselves. A big sign says Nunya. Nunya, Nunya business. Yep. And they're not all that way. There's folks that I'm sure are very, very kind and, and helpful and so forth like anybody else would be. Boy, that's quite a place and they have a beautiful lake right behind them that's all theirs I bet I don't know anyways we're gonna pop out here onto a uh, a street less traveled be right back like I said a little earlier as I came through here this is uh, Texas Corners um, 
that this was uh, the township, the township hall and everything right here. Well, this used to be, okay, this is uh, now uh, um, the, the, uh, the fire department and so forth. I've taken this over. Right behind me, they built this beautiful pavilion. The picnic tables and, and everything that lined up so that they can have outdoor markets. You can see they're getting ready for this Saturday. Have a little market. They have a play area over here and so forth. They really improved this. Let's go back here and take a look at the fire department a second. Um, they used to only have three trucks. And one was a old army jeep painted red with a couple hose reels on the back. Yep. Uh, they're, they're not like that anymore. We just seen uh, some of the tax base. We're about to look at some more of it. Be right back. You can see they don't have two trucks and a Jeep anymore. They got it on. This facility is the new Township Hall. You can see it backs right up to a brand new development back here, housing development, and even more going on over here. Now we'll go around behind here. Boy, is this a beehive of activity here this morning. A lot of, a lot of people coming and going out of uh, a new facility. Be right back. There's college hunks ahead of me, moving in storage. They went from that little bitty house over there connected to the fire station to these digs pretty cool right next door here there's a sign that says um, it shows plots on it it says 11 acres zone commercial right here on the other side of that building where you see the beautiful tree. 11 acres zone commercial. I remember when they built this little this little strip mall here. Here's Louie's. Hey, there's one for Louie. Shout out to Louie out there in California. Louie Offer. Love to watch him. Sorry about the sunlight. All right. I'm going to blow up on out of here today. Seen enough of this, right? There's the fire department straight ahead. Ready to come over and put out the fire over there at Louie's. <laughs> okay, have a great one. See you in the next one. Okay, here on the uh, little flip side of that, I'm going to do a little extension to that video. I'm going to take you past Heaven's Gate here in uh, Texas Corners. Now, this used to be a full-on street that broke right here on the right. They cut the street off. This was the church. Now it's Heaven's Gate, Texas Corners Brewing Company. Okay. Right here, they cut this new street through. And this goes down around, I think they call it Texas Drive. This is Texas Drive. Okay. Right over here is where Heaven's Gate used to come through. Now it's all, you can see the homes that were serviced by that. They're putting brand new homes back in here and cutting this all out. Right up here is a entrance to a, uh, a community, um, I believe it's called Applegate. It's up here a little ways. Here's the new park and splash pad and everything over here on the, uh, on the right. They have quite a trail through here as well. Nice park, well maintained, brand new apparatus all around, brand new splash pad, um, and so forth. Nice parking. Okay. I think this was where the entrance was down here, but I might be wrong. It's 
been a little little while since I've cruised along out here. No, I think this is Applegate. Um, we'll just turn up in here. I've known a couple of people to live in here. Yep. Back in the day when they were uh, offering homes from the sevens, it said. So uh, we'll see once if there's any of those homes that are still in here from the sevens. We'll be right back. Well, I don't know. Uh, that one might be in the sevens. And back here, we really can't tell. Okay, let's see here. If we can determine if there's still places in the sevens. I do remember that there was a large home back in here that went for a one point, well, one million ninety-five thousand dollars. I remember that there was uh, homes in here I'll show you one that a friend of mine owned uh, back in 2005, 2006, okay? It was the home right there on the corner. That's the little uh, the stone fascia and so forth, all right? In 2005, 2006, that house was $595,000, okay? It had a nice little backyard right there. $5.95. Um, today, I couldn't tell you. Pop back out here onto Texas Drive. And take it on down through the old Boy Scout camp. not the Boy Scout camp anymore. It's all closed up right there, the entrance and everything. Um, now it's the uh, the Arthur and Mildred H. Uh, Willem Nature Preserve, Kalamazoo County Parks. They have just got that going um, and they're improving the uh, the, the walkways and the hiking ways all around through the, what's known as the Boy Scout camp, okay? And that ought to really be something. Uh, where, where a good friend of mine lives in Wingate Farms, they can just walk down to the end of the street uh, 100 yards and be right on that trail and go all through that Boy Scout camp. Uh, my, uh, my grandson spends two days a week over there, spends two nights a week over there and uh, with that uh, relative of ours and and uh, rides his bike all over that trail. Yes, sir. All right, be right back. We're gonna look at the the back entrance to the Boy Scout camp. You'll see uh, some things there. Be right back. Can't help but catch the color where you can catch it. Can't help but take a little shot of the church I attend as we drive by. Okay, let's go down here and find that back entrance to the Boy Scout camp. Right up here is a very sad site. I'm going to do a video on it. You'll see the Tres Cruces right here. A terrible traffic accident involving a uh, three young people uh, right there okay there's the Boy Scout camps lake that they would go swimming in I'll be right back okay here's the back door to the Boy Scout camp it's all fenced off now right back over in here there used to be a old farmhouse in which there was some people that lived year-round there's the old barn, the Boy Scouts of America emblem is now gone. It's gone, missing from the front of the barn. Just above the white door, you can see the fleur de lay where it used to be. I'll try to zoom up on it just a little bit here. Maybe you can see it. Okay. 
The road here goes all the way back through the camp. Those are the barns and little outbuildings to service the camp. The little white building that you see right there, that single door on it, okay? It's a little red building. That's a, uh, that's a white door in a little red building right there, okay? Well, that's where they stored the firearms and the ammunition, the 22 rifles and cases and cases, tons of thousands of rounds of 22 long rifle ammunition. Right behind that is a little trail and it goes right back into the woods, not too far. And there's the shooting range right there, the Boy Scout shooting range. Yep, I've been all through that. Yep, there you go. I wasn't a Boy Scout, but back in the day, came down here and, uh, and volunteered for, uh, for a weekend actually two weekends and got to go through here and see all that inside there uh, of course all the rifles and everything have been removed I mean long ago inside there there were probably oh 40 rifles maybe a few more all secure yep a little blockhouse right there anyways I think you can see the the symbol there the fleur de lay been removed and everything else the back door of the Boy Scout camp. That tree could talk. It's heard a lot of shooting. Of course, back here in the day, nobody would even hear it. There's nothing around here at all. Except now, nice custom homes built right across the street, and there's a Sasquatch in the woods. Son of a gun. Right there. All right. Thanks for coming along with this rather long video. I know it's probably kind of boring. I hope not. Thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you please remember, give that thumbs up and subscribe. And please hit that famous notification button. Thanks again to each and every one of you. Have a great and safe day. We'll see you in the next one. A little bit more color.